Hello, this is Ruth Warrington. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a new email account with Gmail. For the purpose of this training video, I'll be using Internet Explorer and I'm also working on Windows 7 computer. So first of all, this is my desktop here. For my computer, I'm going to click on the big A to open my Internet Explorer. I have set Google as my home page for every time I click on the big E, Google comes up. So here I'm going to click on sign in because I'm already on Google. This is where you would log in to your Gmail account. So we haven't created one just yet. So I create on new account. It's now asking me to fill in the details for me to register with them. So I'm going to type in my name. I'm going to pick a username. I'm actually going to pick my business name, rwtrainingservices at gmail.com because I'm going to be using the Gmail account to create a YouTube channel which these videos will be shown on. So that says that is accepted. No one else has got that email address. I now create a password for myself. Like so telling me it's good but I could make it better so I'll go back again so it's telling me it's strong now type it in again so actually I'm going to go back and change that a little bit more so Okay, and what you do is you need to make a note of your password just in case you forget it. And now I pick date of birth. Like so. It's asking me what gender I am. So it's now asking me uh, to add my phone number. I'm going to try and do it without the phone number, but you probably will prompt me. Your current email address. This is just to help verify information as and in when you might forget your password or you get locked out. It will send a notification to the other email address. So for my other videos, I'm going to put down my new Yahoo one, which is this one. Just double check that. Yes, that's correct. It's also saying default home page. Set Google as my default home page. If you want that, you tick it. If you don't, you undo it. Prove you're not a robot. Skip this very your phone verification may be required. So if you didn't want to type this number in, then they would send a specific code to your mobile number. But in this case, we're going to use one. This is pretty easy to do. So 2794. Then it's asking you what location you live at. So in the United Kingdom, but you have all of these other countries, like so. Scroll back. Here we go. And click back on that. And you do have to tick this. I agree to Google's terms of service and privacy policy. If you click on them, it will open up the page and you can read through their terms and conditions, like so. Okay. So I don't want to do that because I've already read it. So I'll click on the X to close that. And the same with that privacy policy, like so. That will open up. And all of these are links. So if I click on those, it will open up further information. So I tick that and say yes, I agree to that. And then I click next step. So it's now going to create your public Google Plus profile. Help make Google better for everyone by contributing restaurant reviews, videos on YouTube and ratings for apps, books and movies in the Play Store. To share public content like this you'll need a public Google Plus profile. So at this time 
you don't need to do this. Maybe at a later stage, if you so wish, you can do. So I'm just going to click on no thanks. So it's now telling me, welcome, this is your email address that I've created. I just click on get started. So as you'll see at the top, this is where your email address will be displayed. Okay, so you can add your accounts here, your Google Plus, you can create all this information. Okay, so I'm going to click on Gmail here. And that will take me to my new Gmail email account. So there's normally a little welcome here. Gives you a little bit of information, tells you how it works. For this particular instance, I'm just going to click on EX. By default, they always send you at least three emails telling you a little bit about it. Welcome. And you have three sections here, which I'll cover in another training video. So that is how you would create a new email account with Gmail. In the next training videos, I'll show you how to log in and log out. Uh, please subscribe to my channel for further free training videos. Thank you.